my limitation will be I am a you know professional who had did architecture and did planning subsequently. And that's my limitation is my understanding will be basically reflected from what I look from the angle of an architect or a planner that how you can minimize the you know misuse abuse of water and how you can promote the use of water for human purpose i think we all know the relevance of water water we know the let's see we raman the the nobel laureate they called it as the elixir of life and we all know that water remains most valuable gift of nature even in gurbani the the you know scripture holy scripture of six they call it pavan pita pavan guru pani pita mata dharat mahat they call it you know the air is the guru water is the father and the earth is the mother and these are the, the trinity which basically guide and you know ensure the sustenance of this world and this is what we need to you know value water as a father air as the guru teacher and earth as the mother you know that's how you look after this and i think this is the trinity which is have been the genesis of all human creation etc and also preserver and promoter also so ultimately you know we have water water remains the basis of human health, well-being, energy, health, ecosystems, climate adaptation, gender equality, anything you know, you can talk about, uh, which is existing on this planet Earth, has water, has the contribution of water to make it to at all. So water remains fundamental to everyone's human health, dignity, and prosperity. So this world would not have been possible without word. Anything we are eating, anything, you know, we are ourselves, you know, uh, uh, working and, you know, living. This is only because of the water, which constituted around three-fourths of when we are born, but continue to be more than half during our entire life cycle, you know, because the water is the, you know, uh, the taking away for all this, all bloods, everything is mobility within all systems are functioning because of the presence of water. So water are important for humanity, communities, for nature and for planet itself. And anything, you know, if there, we have to have a balance, I think water has to be valued for all the reason because it remains at the core of sustainability it, co it remains at the core of socio-economic development. It makes, you know, the um, human beings happy, healthy, and more productive. And, you know, this is what this, the role and importance of water is. Water has been there. Water is very important for us. Water has been, uh, water is to be valued, and it has to be valued right till the humanity exists or this planet, you know, works as a ecosystem to sustain the humanity. And we know if we misuse or abuse the water, we are prone to diseases, we are prone to pandemics. And if we are treating water as a commodity, not as a gift of nature, I think we are heading for a problem. We know the water has been very important for us. And I said that, look at this, the nature, even when the God, you know, created this planet Earth, he allocated three-fourths of the area of the planet for water. And mind it, you know, despite the fact water is so important and relevant for human beings, this water is unfit for human consumption for the reason that water is for another kind of life, life below the Earth and life in the water, you know, which would not have sur survived because of that nature of water. So water, the God has made allocation of water. There's enough allocation of water to meet our need. Surely there are problems if we have our greed, if we misuse and abuse of the water. Water, primarily and essentially, if it is a promoter, and that's what you know we are looking at, 
all this planet we are searching at uh, you know anywhere we are first thing searching is where is the water you know and we know without water there cannot be a life and there you know possibility of going to any other planet will only be a reality if we are able to find water or there is you know there is presence of water so water has is i say is the genesis of entire growth and development entire prosperity and human living and this is primarily the reason the water is remaining important and water consumption has its linkages with the number of human beings and you can remember that in 1804 when the first 1 billion population was recorded and today after 217 years or 218 years we have grown from 1 billion to 8 billion zero so this have we have multiplied it times you already 800 crores you know and we are growing at a very fast pace so we are since as a human being we are the you know consumers of water and we are the you know user of water but we are also the abuser of water so please understand that if we are the reason for a problem i think we are the you know source for solution also we don't have to go out to you know we have to look for ourselves i think that's where we have you know we are consuming water because the numbers are larger we are our lifestyle is changing and that's you know commanding more and more water our all gadgets all sanitation unfortunately is water based and i think we are able not able to appreciate the water where it is plen- uh, available in plenty but you can understand in the desert you know how the water is valued and how they are used i think they are the areas where you can learn you know how the water is need to be conserved preserved and how it is to be you know optimum utilized in for the human living so ultimately we find you know that globally it has been looked at in the studies by uno and that all this agency has said the water consumption has been rising the water drinking water availability is reducing most of the countries are getting water stress india remains one of the most water stressed country there are 2 billion people who are you know less uh, reducing uh, having less water and there are 2.4 billion people who lack the basic sanitation and they say study says by 2025 you know 5 billion 5 out of the 8 billion we will be water stressed so challenges are very clear that water is going to be not available in the required quantity so ultimately the essential be i think we have to save water otherwise if we save water we save money we save life we save energy and we save the planet earth and we make it more sustainable